There we go. All right. Good morning, everyone. We'll get started with the big picture outlook for some top ideas. And the main thing from last week into this week, we highlighted, I think, pretty decently in the newsletter between Shake and myself of how as the market ran into resistance, everything looked beautiful. This was the time to be more defensive, raise more stops, and not try to chase these major run-ups that we've seen out of the major markets and major sectors. And we saw that clear as day. We saw an energy. Again, it retested. We've seen these where with these retests, either you know it holds it perfectly in reverses or it pushes through just enough to kind of trap some extra longs in before it's going to roll over. And we saw that perfect blue energy with now, you know, it's it's, you know, it's getting smoked lately. When we were trying to, you know, flash that, you know, that red light, you know, 15 points higher. And we saw this in a lot of sectors. We saw this um, again, these charts are super tiny. Let me just go on, on trading view. Um, so again, we saw this retest in energy, you know, two weeks ago, time to kind of avoid this sector, take some profits, raise stops, not try to chase here. We saw this in, in the consumer staples. Again, a perfect retest almost to the penny and is now breaking that steep uptrend. So that was kind of last week of, we know what we're coming into, let's be more defensive. And then last week we saw kind of that gradual rollover. And this is when the, the painful trade is now starting. We saw some industrials, you know, same thing, runs perfectly into that retest, looks amazing. And then it starts to fade. So now it's the time when the kind of crappier trades begin and we don't want to be getting involved or getting crazy involved for the next month or you know a few weeks of kind of crappy trading probably in the end of the year Maybe. it's not necessary and i think a lot of times during these you know when these painful trades begin we often try to rush into them way too quickly when it's just not necessary you know the more you can kind of set the silence right now update your financial plan update your goals for the year recap your trades for the year read a book, do anything you can do other than trying to battle this market on the way on the way down as we've seen this whole year. Mm. It's just so much easier. Again, there are some sectors that are setting up. Again, consumer discretionary has really lagged in this recent run up in the market. It's just really just been basing out here. So we have like a little feeler position and then the bigger entry. So this is more, again, we have all the watch lists. So you go to consumer discretionary, there's 200 stocks in there to scan and find setups that are within this sector that's kind of basing out. So again, for most of these major sectors, there's really nothing out there that look like sectors to focus on other than discretionary. The rest, it seems like they're kind of all following the same of just they'd retest a major resistance and are now rolling over after breaking a steep uptrend. So kind of just letting letting them, you know, these sectors and markets shake out seem to be the move versus trying to fight them. Um, again, with top ideas, the really, you know, the only two that I really was able to find were more recent IPOs, which were this TMCI. It's just been flagging nicely here. You know, not blue sky, but you know, little flag area and two dollars risk that's been forming, and then this WFRD. I advise you. Okay. WFRD, recent IPO, near all time highs, through IPO highs. You know, again, still pretty wide. This looks like a tight flag, but it is still more than 10% risk. And we probably have to expect this 40 to be shaken out in the short term before we're going to see move up to 45. So when it does trigger, we can determine to stop then. But those are just two. That I'm keeping a, somewhat of an eye on, but again, for the most part, this week, just trying to sit in cash and let this crappy market flush itself out. So with that, Kevin, I'll pass it to you. If you have any ideas you want to go over, remember ideas. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Christian posted two. Uh, one of them was that TMCI that you just mentioned, and then the other one is this MODN, which looks really solid, actually. It says, uh, displaying and meeting VCP criteria under this 40 pivot. Uh, volume profile in the works as it continues to build out its right side base. It would be ideal to see another contraction before anticipating a breakout. You literally nailed it. I would agree 100%. You know, 40 is definitely clear level, you know, very nice uptrend. But like he said, 
some type of shakeout, something to force people to want to get back into this, where right now it just trades so perfectly mm -hmm. that everyone is just kind of hanging out. And that's when you get that dirty shakeout, then you get people kind of chasing back in. And, and that's what you want to see. And if we're not involved yet, just kind of waiting for that. But if it is going to break 40 and not give you that, then you have maybe a dollar risk here. And getting a five dollar move out of the same doesn't seem that unrealistic. So you kind of have, you know, the alerts are set. If it breaks about 40, now you got to determine the trade. That, and if it does get the shakeout, then maybe you find that support buyback versus having to be perfect buying that $40 breakout. But looks really good. I think even honestly, the two that I even discussed, TMCI and WFRD, I think might have been Kush's ideas from prior pre-market calls, and it's just been on this lot, this this list still. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all, looks all really does. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, that's just a few signals is one when I did my scan. Um, I This time I only got about 19 pages worth of charts, which all, obviously not all of them are even good. Uh, when, when things were going really well, I had like 30, 34 pages, um, which is kind of the first signal for me to like be a little more hands off. And then also just in the, in the chat in general, not a, not a ton of chart posts this weekend, which seems like everyone's kind of on the same page and just waiting you know a lot of things are extended to the downside if they did sell off and then the stuff that's to the upside still needs to consolidate a little bit so with all the news this week it'll be best to kind of focus on being a little more hands-off and and letting things play out you know, i definitely agree yeah i'm just i'm scanning through even just these names that we've talked about recently and it's like there's nothing here that um maybe except for this emph but it's still like for me it's still you know, we tried it through here, failed, and it's still too soon. So it needs a little more time. But other than that, everything else seems, everything that we were selling a week or two ago is below our entries in all these trades that it's, you know, it made sense to lock all these in or take the tiny loss. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah. And you guys, Blake, Ronaldo, do you guys have any stock to go over before we wrap this up? It's a quick one. I'm on the same page as having like uh, I'm just not seeing any setups right now. Um, so I'm just hands off right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this even like this this court, it's like you know, uh, just these retest lessons I feel like right now are just in the front of our face, like perfect retest, things down 30% since. And it just seems like this was, you know, with most names, beginning of the you know, November, that was kind of the time to. You know, lock a lot of stuff in and now it's just you know let the market you know h over as it's kind of setting up to do let it come back in and eventually we'll find out where support's going to be again we you know we've been kind of talking about how you know for the next distant future you know probably we'll trade within you know some range between this 430 and maybe go a little bit further down here, but in the short term, maybe, you know, versus 380 for now. So, you know, yeah. Hands off sending cash isn't the worst thing in the world. Agreed. All right, guys, was well, a quick one. Yep. You guys have a good day this, you know, this, this day, this week, and hopefully we can find some good trades when the market settles out. See right, ya. Guys.